Hello and welcome back to Quarterline. We're going to look at the Volvo 66 today. A strange little car which was really a DAF. Now, Volvo bought DAF in around about 1974 and um, the original DAF car itself ran from 72 to 76. But like I say, we're going to look at the Volvo badged version today. That particular version ran from 1975 until 1980. Now it was never really accepted in Sweden itself as a Volvo, um, but it did have some success throughout Europe. Um, now there was two engine choices, there was a 1.1 and a 1.3, both from Renault, and it still had that very automatic um, CVT style transmission, which DAF at the time was very famous for. Of course today it's quite an, not a particularly an unusual thing to have a CVT, but back then it was quite unusual. Now the brochure we're going to look at is from 1966 and like I say it is for the Volvo badge DAF, the Volvo 66 and this would have originally been a UK brochure. So let's have a look at that now. So here is today's uh, brochure for the Volvo 66. You can see straight away that they did enlarge them front bumpers uh, in essence with Volvo's philosophy of safety. We'll throw it up on the screen anyway and we'll look through the brochure and see what we can see. So here we have inside that first page of the Volvo 66. Now this is the GL, it's just showing it as the GL version which was the uh, 1.3. The difference between uh, the GL and the L was obviously a lower trim but the easiest way to identify the GL was it had these twin headlamps. Um, the L just having a single headlamp. Also two versions, uh, the two-door saloon, which is this red one, and the three-door hatch. There was also a coupe that DAF had uh, as well under the DAF 66, but when it became uh, badged as Volvo, that coupe was dropped. On this page, it's trying to show that in reality this is a Volvo. It's following the tradition of reliability, safe, quality cars. Um, and they're also saying all in all the 66 GL is a truly fine addition to the Volvo family. Saying that, it did reasonably well in Europe, although in Sweden itself it wasn't really accepted as a Volvo at all. And obviously some Volvo enthusiasts didn't see it as a Volvo either, which it wasn't really a Volvo, it was a DAF. Although I think it's an attractive looking car, it was styled by Giovanni Michelotti and I think they did a good job of making an attractive 70s car. Of course like we say it had this CVT transmission which also stood it out against the rest of the Volvo range. But anyway let's have a look to see what else we can find in the brochure. Okay and inside this next cover it's really showing that saloon a little bit better. You can now see the rear end of the saloon and uh, yes just a small little uh, boot at the back there and of course a sort of sideways look at that more practical um, three-door hatch or estate is it an estate would you say I don't know possibly a little bit estate like I guess uh, but nevertheless still a very small vehicle this now is the interior shot of the uh, Volvo 66 GL Yes, it's quite a plain, typical 70s uh, interior with this sort of fake wood and not too much instrumentation. But nevertheless, for the 70s, it was quite nicely appointed, really. You had these sort of like rear seats with the mat pockets on there and the inertia real safety seats uh, fitted to the front and rear. Of course, uh, really promoting this as a safe, small car. Okay, jumping over to the, this next page, um, this yellow, we'll continue calling it an estate because I think that's what it really is, an estate car. Um, this yellow estate car we've moved on to today, 
but more interesting than looking at this um, estate again I think it's quite interesting what they actually wrote in here because for the first time they've really acknowledged that this is a DAF it says crafted in the Volvo tradition a new kind of Volvo it all began three years ago when Volvo and DAF agreed to combine resources to concentrate on small car development. This led to a positive exchange of a development and production know-how, which resulted in extending the Volvo range to include the new Volvo 66, a car that meets AB Volvo's highest standards of reliability, durability, safety and economy. So it's nice to see that they have actually acknowledged um, this has been a joint effort with DAF at least, although in my view it is just the DAF, but it's still nice that they have actually acknowledged that in this page. It's quite interesting page showing economy and reliability, really a, a page that really looks more like it should be in a textbook than a brochure, but nevertheless still interesting. He's talking about the, the 1.3 litre engine, the Didion rear suspension, and then the unique combination, which he's talking about that CVT. He says, the unique feature of this range of Volvo cars is the infinitely variable automatic transmission system. The correct ratio is selected at all time, which contributes a great deal to longer engine life and lower fuel economy. And yeah, we still look at CVTs today and they certainly do uh, create a much better fuel economy. Although at the same time, I guess it's the same issue today as it was then. Not everyone likes the feel of them CVT transmissions. And the thing with this vehicle, there were no op other option. You couldn't have a standard automatic, you couldn't have a manual. It was purely this CVT transmission. On the second side, it's showing the front suspension, even the ventilation and system, how it rotates around the car, uh, the steering and the brakes. The next page is going to a little more, bit more detail, showing the dimensions of the car itself and showing that, yes, we just get one, the 1 1.3 GL uh, model here. So it's the 1300 four stroke four cylinder inline engine exactly 1289 cc's and of course it's a water cooled engine the transmission is showing that only available with the cvt with drive to the rear wheels and then it talks about the general equipment and finish the black painted steel bumpers etc etc the weights the tailgates but let's look at the back page because i think that's quite interesting Okay, and this is the back page, and it's quite interesting for a couple of reasons. Yes, it shows the two cars side by side, which is a nice comparison. It also shows in there that it's printed in the Netherlands. Uh, yes, the home of DAF, where they're making these cars. Yes, this is still a DAF, essentially. It also shows that it's an English brochure on there. So this is for the English models. So there we go, that's the Volvo 66 brochure. Around about 106,000 units were sold, roughly about 14,000 in the UK, uh, compared to the DAF 66, which sold about 146,000 units. The Volvo 66 was eventually replaced by the Volvo 300 series, another uh, car that was closely related to DAF and I think the DAF 77 I think was uh, the one that was going to come out for DAF but Volvo just came out with the 300 series. Again a car that was built in the Netherlands never really accepted as a true Volvo by many Volvo enthusiasts and then that again was replaced by the Volvo 400. Thank you so much for watching Quarternight again today. There'll be more reviews and brochures in the near future. So please do like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Take care.